Ahoy my friends, Ryder here and welcome back to another Final Fantasy War of the Visions video. Today I'm going to be diving into the arena and I'm going to be showing you guys two mono light teams that I have put together for taking on uh, whatever you guys want to do essentially. So now I have two different teams put together. The first one is not going to be quite as good as the second one just based on what we are currently fighting in the game which is essentially teams that basically crush anything that has to do with magic right so cloud Joom, for example are really good uh things for that now helena the black rose right here i think that's her name i get her confused with her helena the black rose yeah she's a really 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 good character and i think that she will resurface again later on um but for right now, this is one of the teams I've put up. The other one, however, I think this one is a little bit better as of right now, um, just because of what we're currently fighting in the game. Now, I'm going to be going through five battles today with you guys, and I'm actually going to periodically switch between these two teams based on what we're fighting. I know that's not normally how I do the videos, but I didn't want to do 10 full duels. The video would have been super long. So instead, we're just going to play both teams and then for those of you guys that can only build one of them you'll have an idea of where to go now let's get into this this first team here is going to feature lucio bartz and cloud as you guys can see lucio is here at level 140 he's been reincarnated 50 times he's got 12.6 khp 120 agility 415 dexterity 405 luck he's running over 1900 attack 31 defense 22 spirit 35 unit attack resist and 43 area attack resist. His back end stat details are pretty good here. 35 slash, 20 pierce, 48 magic resist, the negative eight to missile and negative five to strike. But all in all, I really like Lucio as a character, running him warrior of the luminescent heart with the power to protect worlds and national uh, natural instincts. However, I am gonna switch him over to pugilist as of right now. The main job as the sub job is a good one, but mostly if you're going up against dark or light teams. Now, I just want to make sure that I have the TMR off. It is. All right. That being said, let's jump over to Bartz. I believe Bartz is sitting at 25 reincarnations. He's level 140. He's got 10.7 KHP, 114 agility, about 400 dexterity, and the same with luck. He's got a whopping 2100 attack little less on the defensive end 20 unit attack resist 37 area attack resist his stat details are all green in the attack type resistances 25 slash 2 pierce 12 strike 12 missile and 43 magic so everyone really strong on the magic resistance i am running him marshalist marshalist or swordsman of the chosen as well and i do have the alexander right here for a little bit of extra accuracy now, last but not least, our favorite light character, at least mine, is Cloud Strife. He's sitting at 50 reincarnations, level 140. He's got 14.3 KHP, 130 agility, about 450 dexterity, 430 luck. He's got 2.1K attack, 19 defense, 9 spirit, 20 unit attack resistance, 30 area attack resistance. And his back end is also looking really good. 20 slash, 17 pierce, 59 magic resist. 2 missile and negative 3 to strike right here. I am running him with the plus 6 gauntlet of sharp steel for a little extra slash attack resistance. This is actually a really good uh, piece of gear right here. Healing power down on attack for 3 turns granted and all elemental attack up 15 plus the slash attack resist rate up plus 20 before attack as long as you're 60% or above in HP. So super super solid. Now that being said, I'm just going to quickly show you guys this other build over here. I'm not going to quite go into everything right there, but you guys can see how this setup over here is done as opposed to the other one. Certain things change. The card sync isn't quite perfect because I'm running Cloud's card, which is unit attack resistance along with Bahamut, which is also unit attack resistance, but you kind of need that Bahamut card for Helena, not going to lie. All right. So that being said, she is on Grimoire Keeper. That is going to be good for us today. All right, so let's get into it, guys. Um, I don't think that these teams are going to like 
really take down any of the meta teams. But for those of you that want to run Mono Light, they're definitely going to be fairly strong. All right, so this one's going to be Joom. Let's go around and let's look for some stuff right here. All right, let's see here. All right, there is a... I guess we could try to find, I guess we could try to fight multiple mono element teams, right? All right, so why don't we take on this one right here, all right? And we'll start off with the Cloud Lucio Helena team right off the bat. I think that fighting mono element teams with a mono light team is probably like more or less the fairest thing that we can do. Either way, I'm having fun. I, I personally, I do miss like the mono light teams being super strong. I feel like the master abilities are just so good when they sync together. But I am enjoying the, the I guess you would call it the job era of uh, teams right now. All right, so we have uh, Lucio and Clouds kicking off their butts. Buffs right off the bat, their butts. <laughs> Helena's gonna be over there in the corner. I kind of want her away from everybody so that she can hit from a distance and then all these guys focus on Cloud and Lucio, who are going to be a lot tankier than Helena. All right, Resnick is way back there in the corner. So unless she starts to move forward, she's not going to be much of a help in this fight. All right, here we go. Lucio running back. We are going to get that buff right there. Ooh, there is that AP uh, nullify right there. All right, so Bridal Alaya is going to get slept. Cloud is going to put her onto Courage right there. So she is going to get off an attack. Uh, looks like Astria is still out of range. So we're looking really good at the beginning of this fight, guys. All right, so here comes Alaya's Limit Break. Wow, very good damage on both Helena and Cloud. Cloud still tanked it pretty well. All right, so Astrius is on Courage right here. He is going to get the preemptive counter on Lucio, but Lucio is going to take him down, and Cloud is going to take down Bridal Alaya. All right, so we're looking pretty good in our first match right here. All right, sweet. There we go. All right, so that's the first match. Honestly, super solid all around the board. Team definitely held up. Let's go find another Mono Element team and check out the other mono light team that I have set up for you guys today. All right, so let's jump over to this team right here and we'll see how it goes. I know that there's a lot of uh, evasion teams, so let me just make sure. Okay, so I do have the evasion rate up on him. All right, so maybe we can find like a mono uh, earth team or a mono ice team. Let's see here, there's not too many. There's almost one. Ooh, here we go. All right. So now we'll try this team against this team. Wow, that is some really high attack stat. <laughs> so they're almost pushing 6k attack. We know that uh, 2P is going to be an evasion monk. Uh, Ashen King is just burly whenever he's in a mono team. He gets all the master abilities and it just becomes so hard to kill him. So hopefully Cloud can hold up in this fight. We'll see how it goes. All right, both Bart and Lucio do not have guaranteed hit. So I am gonna be relying on Cloud here to take out the evasion aspect of their party. All right, here we go. All right, and the battle is underway, guys. Cloud's going to get off Revitalize right here. He is pushed way up close to the enemy right now. I don't know why Lucio is running all the way over into this corner. All right, so here comes Ashen King's Limit Break. He's going to go for a hit on Cloud. And it hopefully Bradley does not take him out right here. Okay, perfect. Okay, so it's 2P versus Lucio. Oh, man, and Mont doubled up right there and totally freaking just tanked cloud holy shit all right so it's on lucio and barts right now didn't really work out well for cloud with the movement up passive right there all right so barts and lucio were able to take down 2p but here is just a monster ashen king and bradley both of them are hasted not looking good but as you can see lucio can still hit pretty damn hard here comes uh, Bart's right here. All right, so if we can survive their first set of attacks, 
We might be able to do something, but I think Ashen King's about to take them both down right here, right now. There is, there it is, guys. So, super strong Earth team right there. Unfortunate that our team just got separated because Cloud was not going to be able to take on Ashen King and Bradley by himself, especially with that haste on Ashen King's limit break, and that just did not go well. All right, so that being said, I'm still going to leave Cloud over there in the corner. Um, however, I think I'm going to switch him. Actually, I'll leave him on Bells. All right, so let's see what else we got here. All right, so here is another mono team. So we're one and one right here for the day. I'm going to give this team another go. I feel like this is the stronger team, but I guess if you're not fighting some of the more meta comps, Black Rose Helena might be the better choice other than Bart's. I mean, she is a better character overall. All right, so we'll see how this fight goes right now. Then we'll switch back to the other team, and we'll see who gets the final fight of the day. Will it be Bart's or will it be Helena? All right, guys, so here we go, going into the third fight right here. Cloud looking good over there in the corner, casting his buffs. Lucio is going to run into Bart's right here. And Bart's should get off his area attack resistance buff and barrier right now. All right, perfect. I should probably switch Lucio and Bart so that they don't run away from the beginning because they're just getting so far away from Cloud. Hopefully Cloud can hold up right here. All right, so he's going to be taking on A2. Lucio in the back right here, and Bart is going to use Relentless Stance. He's going to get his Courage. All right, here comes Howlet's uh, Limit Break. Definitely a pretty sick one. All right, Lucio looking as tanky as usual. Here comes Jaden using Bromwell's TMR. And Cloud, he's... Oh my gosh. Damn, A2 with the reflex right there. All right, so here comes her limit break. I think Cloud's got this for sure. All right, she tried... To, she did immobilize him. All right, Lucio coming up from the bottom right here. He's going to get off a hit. Jaden probably going to go for Cloud, honestly. All right, so hopefully Cloud survives this. He does have lower pierce resistance. All right, so he is going to survive. We'll see what Bartz does right here. He's just going to flat out take out Howlet. All right, there goes the Courage remove. Cloud, once again, out of the fight, basically done nothing two fights in a row. That is really b brutal, actually. But we'll see if Bartz and Lucio can take down A2. She's about to run out of AP on this next hit. So I'm thinking that we got it. She does have the re-raise right here. But I'm pretty sure, unless she reflexes right here, that Bartz is going to take her down. And there's the freaking A2 reflex. That thing comes out of nowhere every single time. But either way, we are going to take down the fight. All right, so we are two in three right now against mono element teams. So all in all, looking pretty good. I kind of want to try the Helena team against another mono earth team just to see how that goes. All right, so we'll see how that is. All right, so let's switch over. We'll switch back over to our other mono light team right here. And let's find out what we're going to go for. Um, I think that if we're going to fight Mono Earth, we might be fighting Evasion. So I'm going to switch from Grimoire Reaper over to White Mage because she has guaranteed hit on that sub job. All right, now let's see if we can actually find one here. All right, that's not one. Maybe this one? This is not one either. All right, so it doesn't look like there are any right there. We're not going to fight another Lightning team. We already fought one. I guess we could fight a fire team or a water team. Let's go for a water team right here and see how this goes. Um, all right, so this is going to be Joom. She's going to be pretty tanky against uh, against Helena. All right, so let's switch back. We'll do Helena on the last battle because that team is going to be more uh, geared to deal with uh, magic users. We're going to have Miranda. She can put people to sleep. So we'll switch over to the more physical team. And hopefully we can take them down. June by herself is like such an absolute beast in the game right now that like even if you beat both of the people with her, she could still solo a team in certain cases just by herself. So it's just pretty crazy to see how much of a difference the new units are in comparison to, you know, what's currently there. 
All right, so hopefully Cloud does more in this fight. I might need to actually just remove him off that passive, but then it's always like the moment you remove it, then you need it in the next fight. All right, so here we go. Looks like we have the Water Veritas down there in the corner. All right, here we go. And looking pretty good. Cloud's going to get revitalized. So he's he's set to do damage. He hasn't been doing anything in these fights. But hopefully he will sometime soon. Watch him get put... Watch Cloud get put to sleep by Miranda right here, dude. All right, perfect. He didn't get put to sleep. All right, so here comes the Water Veritas. And Cloud is finally going to get a hit. Let's go, Cloud. Huge damage right there. Miranda already on Courage. All right, Joom opting for the Limit Break right here. If Cloud gets off one more hit, if they don't kill Cloud before he gets off another hit, this battle is over. All right, here we go. Water Veritas down. She, looks like she did not get off her re-raise. Okay, Bart's going over with the Courage. Miranda is running over. She's going to do Dispelling Thrust. Cloud is going to get off that second attack here, guys. And it is going to do major damage. All right. So Miranda is going to go down. Joom is going to get what looks like one more hit. Not able to put Cloud onto his Courage, unfortunately. Lucio is going to come in, put Joom on her own Courage, and it looks like Bartz is going to seal the deal. So definitely a good idea to switch back to this team. If you can build both of these teams, you can definitely kind of mismatch um, for what you're fighting and, uh, you know, switch back and forth in Arena. If you're trying to get up in the rankings, make some extra Vizior. Uh, sometimes that's pretty fun for me, although most of the time I'm just trying to fight the strongest teams and see if I can beat them. All right, so for the last fight of the night, I am going to switch over to the Black Rose Helena team. We have one fight left. Hopefully we can find a Mono Earth team. This is probably one right here. Perfect. All right. So this is a evasion team. Now let's just make sure everything is fully set right here. Cloud has guaranteed hit. Helena has guaranteed hit. Lucio has. I'm not going to switch anything on them. I think we're pretty much good to go. So let's go against this earth team right here and see if we can take down the final fight of the night. All right, guys. Honestly, it's been pretty fun. I've been really enjoying coming back to War of the Visions. I mean, I've been playing consistently um, even through the whole road to Worldwide. That just was a, a, hard, a hard time, I think, for everyone. But it's really fun to have the Advent Children collaboration, to be able to play as Cloud. Um, I think that I decided, I did decide to pull for the Kadaj VC for Cloud, and I think that I'm going to opt away from Sephiroth. I know he's going to be so strong. I just don't have the characters or the cards to really compliment him. So I'll be waiting for the next Knight or Great Sard unit. All right, here we go, guys. Everything is kicking off. We have Helena over there in the corner. Mont does have the Dark Titan card. Ooh, the freaking Wind Veritas v uh, TMR is so clutch, actually. It's really good. All right, there goes Cloud. Luckily, he doesn't have bells on on this run. He has haste, so that's actually really nice. All right, here comes 2P. She's going to get the hit off on Lucio. Ash and King going straight for the limit break. All right, so he's going to haste himself. He's going to get the follow-up attack. All right, luckily we should survive this. If the other Lucio is in range, he's not in range of our Lucio, which is great because that means he's going to get another hit in, I believe. All right, so there goes Helena right here. Cloud is going to get his hit right here. It does not look like Lucio is going to get... Ooh, Ashen King did not get off his courage. Okay, all right, so both of us have lost a character right now. The fight is looking good. Helena's going to run over here. She's going for the Soul Harvest. All right, so it looks like their evade is not actually high enough to prompt a guaranteed hit. All right, there goes Cloud. He's going to take her down. And it looks like the last thing here on the board is Lucio. All right, he's going for his Limit Break right here. King of the Dead. That's actually pretty sick. Almost takes down Helena. He doesn't quite get it. All right, Cloud going for the Blade Blast right here. 
He's out of AP. Lucio is going to take down Helena right here with the re-raise remove. Oh, man. Okay, so the accuracy goes down. He is going to miss. Cloud is out of AP. Lucio might just bring this back, guys. He is just completely draining Cloud's accuracy. But the question is, does Cloud get enough AP to do his guaranteed hit right here? That is the question. And he is going to do it. Does Lucio have re-raise? He does not. We are going to take down the last fight of the night, guys. So we went three and two. So mono teams against mono teams. Mono light is still definitely holding up. I'm having fun. I haven't been using it so much in arena just because you're a lot more limited with what you can fight, I think, especially considering like the big, the like the main big meta teams, right? You have Joom, A2, Cloud. You have really strong Ash and King teams. You can put Bolt, uh, Bolt Astrius in there. Either way, uh, I'm having fun. It's nice to be able to play War of the Visions again and to put Cloud into a mono light team. The fact that Advent Children Cloud is a light character is like one of the best things for me because light is my strongest element out of all of them. So honestly, I could not be happier. So I hope that these mono light teams help you guys put together something of your own and you can go out and get have some fun in the arena today. That being said, if you guys enjoyed this video today, don't forget to drop a like, leave a comment, and to subscribe for more Final Fantasy War Divisions content. Hope you all have a wonderful night, take care, and peace.